In this video, I'm going to walk you through the practice spreadsheet for the Excel CPD course. Um, the spreadsheet contains lots of little mini tasks to teach you some of the basics and some of the intermediate skills in Excel. Um, so when you open the spreadsheet, you'll be on the introduction page. And there's a few things that you might want to just um, adjust before you start. You can change the length of this scroll bar here. And you can also zoom in and zoom out if you want to see more or less on the screen. You might also find it useful while you're working to actually colour the tabs as you work through. You might want to do something like um, maybe colour the tabs green if you've done them, or maybe red if you've got a problem with them. To do that, all you do is just right click, click on tab colour and select the colour. So first they would go to work through the basics worksheet. Um, on here we've just got a few formulas and then a few little basics that you need to know. I've done the first one for you, which lays it out. The second one, when you're doing a formula, you always have to use an equals. So we're going to start with an equals. You're going to click the first cell, you're going to click plus, and you're going to click the second cell. Press enter, and you'll get a little response here to say whether you got it right or not. You're going to work your way doing the same thing down here. So click the first one. This one is subtract, so you're going to do your minus. And click the second one and press enter. Down the bottom, we'll just complete these as just a few simple activities. So first thing, you can just colour the cell. Given the cell the border, it's this one here, and you can choose a lot of different options. I'm just going to give it an outside border. You can also change the color if you want to on there. So we'll just go with outside border. Um, you're asked, being asked here to add a flower to the box. If you have a picture of a flower saved on your computer, you can access it using a picture from file. Otherwise, you can just use clip art. And you can click go, select the picture that you want, click the little X to get rid of your clip art panel. If you want to resize, you can just pick it up and move it like that, in the corner. This text, you're going to center it just using the alignment panel here. Now, with the cell that you're going to change to currency, you've got at least three different options. So, for example, you can right click and say format cells, and you get lots of options in here that you can use, including this panel here for number, and then you'd have currency there. Another option is to use this button here. And it just gives you three common currencies there. You've got more options that you can do there. Third section is this one here. And you can just select which one you want. So, for example, currency. Last activity on this page is just to create a really simple pie chart. Highlight your data. Go to insert. You're going to go to pie. And select pie. Usually you'll be choosing either this option or this option here. I'm just going to go with a 2D pie. Now you'll notice when you have um, <clears throat> the chart, so if I just click off it, you'll notice that the ribbon actually changes depending on what you've got selected. So here I get some chart tools. I can change lots of different things. So for example, I can change the design of it. I can also change um, the layout. So I can have the chart title in a different position. And um, I can change where the data labels are. So for example, I might want to put them in the center. I can also change where the legend appears, so maybe you want to have it along the bottom. And you can change the size of it just by moving it. And you can pick it up and move it by getting the up, down, left, right arrow. And I'm going to pick it up and just put it below the table there. Again, that's another one done, so I'm going to right click, tab color. 